You're driving home from work and you just had the best day. You get in the car, all your favorite songs are playing, everything's aligning, you're headed home to have your favorite meal for dinner. This day couldn't get any better. And you're jamming out to your favorite songs, driving on the highway, and then out of nowhere, a silver sedan comes and cuts you off. You have to slam on your brakes, you let out a couple curse words, and they drive off into the distance. And you're left there filled with rage and anger. And you think to yourself, why did they cut me off? That person is so stupid. They made me so mad. And think about that, what you just said. You said that person made you mad. If they made you mad, then what they really did was they stopped reality. They paused time, got out of their car, opened your car door, cut open your head, and rearranged the chemicals in your brain to make you feel that way. Now, if they did that, then you're absolutely right. You have every right to say they made you mad. But anything short of that, what you're doing is subconsciously or consciously giving them permission to tell you how you feel. When we place blame on other people for our feelings and our emotions, that's exactly what we're doing. We're handing over the keys to our car and saying, hey, drive wherever you want. Take me wherever you want. I don't care. And that's not right and that's not fair for us. We deserve and we need to be in control of our day-to-day -day lives and our day-to-day -day emotions. No one else should be behind the wheel for that. But when we do blame other people, when we say, hey, he made me mad, she made me mad, we're giving up that control. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't feel emotions and you should be just a stiff robot, emotionless, but what I am saying is when things that upset you happen, acknowledge them. Say, yes, that upset me. He or she did something that upset me and understand that you're giving permission. You're choosing to feel that way. Nobody is making you feel that way. When you buy into this idea of choice, it's empowering. You feel better about yourself and you can still acknowledge those emotions and allow yourself to feel those feelings because that's important as a person. Feel anger, feel upset, and feel mad, but understand that you're making that decision. And then acknowledge those feelings, make the adjustments, and move on. When you do that, and when you maintain the ability to make choices and decisions in your life, you will remain behind the steering wheel, and you can take your life wherever you want to go.